Okay guys, we're now going to learn about two-step equations. Two-step, meaning they have two-step. Well, what are we going to do? We know with equations we're trying to find the missing pronumeral. In here we have 3x plus 4 equals to 13. We would like to find the missing pronumeral, in this case x. How do we do it? Let's see what we do first. We look at the equation and we see that we have two numerals. That means it's a two-step equation. Why? Because we have to get rid of each of these numerals to leave x by itself. But the question is, which one do we get rid of first? Do we get rid of the plus 4 or the 3? I like to think of it this way. When I look at the equation, I want to get rid of the first one that is the furthest away from x. So the furthest one away from x is 4. We've got to start with that one first. Then we move on to the 3. So always start with the furthest numeral away from x and then move closer towards x. So here we have positive 4, that's the furthest one away. Well, positive 4, we minus 4, and of course, we minus 4 on the other side. We learn in equations, what we do to one side, we must do to the other side. Plus 4 becomes minus 4, minus 4. We always do the opposite. So, we have 3x equals plus 4 minus 4 is gone, we're left with 3x. 13 take away 4 is 9. We have now a one-step equation where we only have a numeral to get rid of, we're going to take it away. How are we going to take it away? We know times 3 times x. So the opposite of times is divide. So 3x divided by 3, in fact, is just 1x. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. Two-step equations. One step and two step. Very easy. The most important part to know is when do I, or which one do I actually get rid of first? Do I get rid of the 3 first or the positive 4? Always start with the furthest one away from x. The furthest one away we can see is 4. We started with that one first. Minus 4 minus 4. 3x equals to 9, then divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals to 3. Does it work? Let's see. x equals to 3. 3x three, is 3 times x. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. Yes, it works. Let's do another one. 5b minus 13 equals to 42. Again, it's a two-step equation. We have two, two numerals here that we want to get rid of. Which one do we start with first? What is it? What do you think? The 5 or the minus 13? Which one is the furthest away from b? Is it the 5 or the minus 13? The minus 13 is further. So we start with that one first. Minus 13 becomes plus 13. What we do to one side? We do to the other side. Plus 13 here. Negative becomes positive. We always do the opposite. So 5b we know minus 13 plus 13 is gone. 42 plus 13 is 55. So our equation now is 5b equals to 55. What do we do now? We are going to divide because 5b is 5 times b. So divide by 5 and divide by 5 on the other side. Remember always what we do to one side, we do to the other. 5 divided by 5, we're left with 1b. 55 divided by 5 is simply 11. So B equals to 11. That's our answer. B is 11. Let's see, does it work? Substitute it in. 5B is 5 times B. We're saying B is 11. So 5 times 11, 55. 55 take away 13 is 42. It works. Let's do some more examples. All right, guys, two more. 7X minus 14 equals to 28. We have a two-step equation once again. How do we know? We have numerals, two of them, on the left-hand side where the x is. 7x minus 14 equals to 28. So now we have to get rid of both numerals and leave x by itself. Which one do we start with first? We said the furthest one away from x. Which is further, 7 or negative 14? 
negative 14 is further. Minus 14 is plus 14. And of course, what we do to one side, we do the other. 7x is left. Minus 14 plus 14 is gone. 28 plus 14 is 42. So 7x equals to 42. Now, what do we do? It's a last step. Basically, one step equation. 7x is 7 times x divided by 7 divided by 7. What we do to one side, we do to the other. 7 divided by 7 is just 1x. 42 divided by 7, our answer is 6. You can try and substitute. We know 7x is 7 times x. x is 6. 7 times 6 is 42. 42 take away 14 is 28. Last one. 5x over 3 equals to negative 10. This seems a little different because we have a fraction, but it's still a two-step equation. We have two, two numerals next to the x on the left-hand side. Which one do we start with first? Do we have to get rid of the 3 or the 5 first? The furthest one away. The 1 downstairs, there it is. We have to get rid of it. Divide by 3, because a fraction means divide. Divide by 3, the opposite, times 3, times 3 on the other side. So basically divide by 3 and times 3, they cancel each other out. We have 5x left. Negative 10 times 3 is negative 30. So 5x equals to negative 30. Now we just divide the 5. We know 5x is 5 times x. The opposite of times is divide. Divide by 5, divide by 5. 5 divided by 5, we're left with the 1x. And negative 30 divided by 5, negative 6 is our answer. You can try it. 5 times negative 6, x is negative 6, so 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. Negative 30 divided by 3 equals to negative 10. It works, it's correct. These are two-step equations. Very easy, and as I always say, you need to practice.